Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2019 Battle Series. We kicked off yesterday with a brand new team that you can see on the screen in front of you. If you missed yesterday's episode, go back up here, I'll put a card in for you all, you can go and check that out. It was a great episode to kick us off with and we are playing this for the next couple of weeks and like I say, we'll probably make some changes as we go forward but it's good to just test it out live on the channel here with you guys and make those changes as we go forward because it's a good example to show you how you can tweak things, identify things that are a big threat to you and you can't deal with and make those changes as you go forward to make those matchups better and overall just better composition of team. We saw yesterday we struggled a little bit against the Palkia Kyogre. Now it's going to be good if we come up against that matchup again because we can approach it a little bit differently and then really determine whether it was what we led with, how we approached that matchup or if we actually need to just change something in the team to deal with that better. You don't want to jump into making changes too quickly before you've actually had a chance to kind of play the team and things like that. So. The team, as always, is in the description as well as the poker pace for you guys to try out. If you do try it out, let me know. Um, always leave a like if you enjoy the content. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel as well. And um, more than more than more importantly than anything, leave your comments in the comment section because you know how much I love hearing from you. I might not get back to you straight away, but I will make sure to get back to each and every one of you as soon as I can. And we do have a big flinched competition going on at the moment to celebrate the launch of flinchclothing.com if you haven't checked it out already go down the link is in the description and you can get involved in the competition here we are doing a big giveaway for the entirety of february all you need to do is go over to flinchclothing.com sign up to our mailing list and you will be entered into the prize draw and and winners will be announced on the 2nd of March on the channel, which will be very exciting. So if you want to grab some flinch merch and rep it yourself out at events, out anywhere you are, at home, out on the street, anywhere, just looking flash, cool, clean, then get yourselves over and join up to the mailing list and uh, get involved. So, without further ado, let's get into today's episode. I hope you're all well, having a good day and things like that. All that jazz. Let's get some music on. What are we going to go with today? So hopefully we can get some more Icinium Z action going on with um, Let's go Cyrus for a change. And we got Scott from the United Kingdom. I wonder if it's our good buddy WDFW Shuckle. <laughs> it could well be. But first of all, let's get into team. Playing a team of Incineroar, Kyogre, Xerneas, Tapu Fini, Tornadus and Tapulele. You know, I'm just thinking if it is Scott, we'll never live it down if we lose, so we have to come out victorious here. Um, we've got the Kyogre and the Xerneas is a restricted pairing here for my opponent, uh, supporting cast of Incineroar with that fake out, Intimidate support. Tapu Fini there potentially got Heal Pulse, Haze, Icy Wind, Nature's Madness, lots of things to disrupt our team. Tapulele as well could potentially be scoffed if the Kyogre isn't, and then you've got the Tornadus there. We have to watch out for can carry the Z move, it does have access to Tailwind, Taunt, lots of ways to shut us down. I feel like against this particular team, Tapu Koko doesn't do too bad a job, especially with the Electro Web. The Assault Vest as well there um, can really help us out against particularly Scarf Tapu Koko. Um, I think we will bring the Tapu Koko to this one. Um, it does give us a lot of options against what my opponent's probably going to try and do. It resists Tornadus as well and gives that a bit of a hard time. But it's the other slots. What do we want to do here? Um, I think, I think, I think. Oh, we could go Tapu Lele. Um, it's a nice option against Scoffed Kyogre in particular. But we're not going to be able to stop the uh, potential Tailwind from the uh, Tornadus. We need to choose pretty quickly though. I'm going to go Kyurem, Sogaleo, and Tapu Lele here, and uh, we'll go with we'll go with this to kind of kickstart us today. So good luck to my opponent. Ah, oh, Kyogre feels difficult for this team to deal with, in particular. But, I mean, Scoffed Lele does a, a really good job against Kyogre for the most part. It's just, those water type attacks are so devastating. We do have a Dragon in our team, which does help. We're going to see Tapu Fini and Xerneas come out for my opponent. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? So there's a Turbo Blaze activating. And uh, we do, we do actually see that we are faster than the opposing Xerneas, which is interesting because if they go for an attack this turn one, we are going to see the uh, Misty Seed activate on the Tapu Fini. Now here, I feel because we are able to detect that we're fa we're faster than that opposing Xerneas, we could just double into it, Volt Switch and Z Move into it. 
The problem is if it protects and we see the Tapu Fini go for go for an icy wind. That could put a big, big a big kind of kink in the works. Now we could sky drop the Tapu Fini, but we're not really getting much leverage from that. Now I don't think the Z move is gonna be enough to take down the Xerneas, but it will do a heck of a lot of damage and put it in range. And just to be safe, I think I'm gonna Volt Switch out on the Tapu Fini, get Sogaleo in and Z move into that Xerneas. Depends, mm, you see, there we go. I'm gonna see an Icy Wind come out, for sure. So we, I think we made the right decision going for this it kind of helps us cover bases a little bit um, and we do get a bit of damage onto the Xerneas in the process if an icy wind is what comes out from my opponent's end so there's the Z move unfortunately we're pulling the trigger a bit too soon here and props to my opponent they probably picked up on the turbo blaze activating before their fairy aura so knowing that Acurum's faster um, but it does give us, you know, if Icy Wind doesn't come out this turn, it does give us an opportunity to um, to still take advantage of that speed jump that we've got going into the next one. So, I mean, it doesn't do too bad. It's a little bit of chip. It probably puts it in range from... Um, okay, we're just going to see a Nature's Madness here into the Curum. <laughs> I really do not mind this at all. Um, now, Sunsteel Strike into the Xerneas is pretty obvious here. Um, but I think what we'll do is go for that. Oh, the Tapu Fini is just sitting on the field, but I think we can probably get Coco in. Or oh, do we get Lele in? Because Lele, if the Kyogre comes in, we, we're pretty safe against that. Um, I am going to bring Lele in. Keep Coco for later. And we'll probably see a Nature's Madness from this Finny into the Sogaleo. We'll probably see the Xenia switch out as well, I would imagine. Yeah, there's the, the Xerneas switch out. Incineroar coming in. Makes sense. But I mean, with the Tapu Fini as well, suspecting that, um, can't fake out the next turn. And a Sunseal Strike plus a Superpower is probably enough to pick up the knockout there. We probably will take another Nature's Madness, I'd imagine, just chipping us down slowly. Putting us in range is quite a nice like thing to have, especially if you've got Kyogre, Scarf Kyogre in the back for later on. There's another Nature's Madness. It's time into Sogaleo, I'd guess, yeah. <sighs> we could just Dazzle and Gleam and Superpower that Incineroar. I'm just worried that the Superpower is not enough to take down that Incineroar from this range, but a Dazzle and Gleam plus Superpower will be. Um, hmm. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go Dazzle and Gleam. Yeah, it's going to switch out. Xerneas coming back in. Hmm, okay. I mean, that's not too bad damage. This might put it in range for another Dazzling Gleam to take it down the next turn. Nature's Madness coming out. To the Tapu Lele. Mm -hmm. um, I mean we're still like in a decent position here to just keep on throwing attacks out I could send Steel Strike into the Xerneas slot for sure um, I kind of want to send Steel Strike into the, the Finny because I feel like the Dazzling Gleam is going to be enough to get that Xerneas from the damage that it did before yeah yeah and Sunsteel Strike, probably not enough to get the Finny because of the attack drop that we've had, but we get rid of the Xerneas, which makes life a lot easier for Curum when it comes back in. Yeah, it's not quite enough. Nature's Madness. Lele again. To Lele. Now the Kyogre hits the field. Guaranteed. Yeah. And this is where we probably need to, we we definitely need to adjust a little bit. Um, I want to get Coco in, for sure. I mean, we could potentially sack off Sogaleo. Uh, I don't want to sack Sogaleo, really, do I? Um, we need to preserve Lele. 
because Lele is such a good Pokemon to bring in against this Kyogre. Um, do we need Kurum? I don't think we need Kurum as much as we do the rest of the team. So Kurum is going to be the one thing that I'm going to be able to just say, right, okay. Tapu Koko and Tapu Lele are way more important for us. The thing is, though, we've got to play it a little bit safer with getting a make sure that we've got a psychic terrain up so when that incineral comes in that we do not take too much damage like so we don't have the conflict where oh heal pulse okay <laughs> now we're in a bit of a, a trickier spot now because <clears throat> uh, what do we need what do we need what do we do I think we bring in Coco yeah and we're gonna have to sack Kira. Uh huh. I'm gonna just in case we do have to beat the Kyogre and it's not scoffed. I would imagine it is scoffed in this team though. I'm gonna get rid of the Finny. But we'll get our electric terrain up, so when we bring in the the, the Lele, we've got a way to at least get a psychic terrain up. Just thinking ahead in these games is the best thing. It is scoffed Kyogre. But the Finny's only got. Oh, it's got light screen. It makes it a hell of a lot more difficult to deal with. And I don't know if Psy Shock's going to be enough to put that water spout in a position where we can get an Electro Web off. But we can try. The light screen really hurts us here. Okay, Kyogre switching out. I mean, we're going to get rid of the Finny here for sure with Electro Web. That should be more than enough. Oh, it actually reveals Protect. Hmm. Interesting. So, I think I just go Electro Web again. I'm going to bring Sogaleo in. I need to keep Lele for this Kyogre. And if we can time this right, then the rain, if the rain stops and we can get a Psy Shock into it, then maybe if Coco is not taken down, we can do something. So, Electro Web again. I wonder why this is the Cineral. Has to target the Lele though. With a knockoff, I would imagine. Our snarl could come out here. Knockoff. If we take this. No. We don't. Not a crit. Not a crit. No chance. Um. Now this does make it that we can't deal with the Incineroar. And the Kyogre. With what we've got left. We needed Sogaleo. Ah, it's another game where we've kind of come up against Kyogre, Scoff Kyogre, and been a real issue, especially when it's played. Um, I mean, we can Nature's Madness. Do we Nature's Madness? No, I think we have to Electro Web again and Psy Shock the Kyogre. And again, hope that we can take a Water Spout with Coco. Yeah, the light screen's too much there. And smartly gone for the scald. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's game. So, good game to my opponent. I think we need better means in the team. I do feel like the Kyogre matchup, like we said it in yesterday's episode, I feel like the Kyogre matchup is very difficult for us. Um, I'm not going to change anything on the team until we go into week two. So, we'll have a break. Uh, over the weekend and we'll come back probably with changes going into week two um, but we'll we'll see if we can figure out a bit more about the team but good game to my opponent as we go forward anyway so let's get into our next one hmm it's all about protecting Lele and maybe we were better off bringing oh, I don't know Anyway, we've got our next opponent. 
I'll stop pondering for a minute as we go into this one against Incineroar, Xerneas, Kyogre, Tornadus, Toxicroak, and the Rotom Leaf. So it's Mortem Maw. Rotom Maw. Not the Leaf, uh, but it is a Grass type and Electric type with Levitate. Um, okay. So a pretty similar team to what we played last time. Um, just got a few more fake out support options there with the Toxicroc in the team gonna benefit from that rain as well. Um, so this is like really good for us. We need to approach this one a little bit more differently. Like a little differently than we did in the last game. Um, so I think, what can we do here a little bit differently? The Scott, like Kyogre and the, the tailwind's really awkward for us because we've got no way to really stop it um, and that's a big weakness for us straight away so that's I think an issue with the team more than anything else I'm gonna go Coco um, for the Electro Web for sure and I'm gonna lead Curum off again it does do well against this team I think I need the Tapu Lele and I don't think the selection is wrong I think it's how we're playing it more than anything else and I'll lock in with Sobelele. yeah and you know, I have to admit that one of the things that I probably did overlook more than anything was the Kyogre matchup. I felt personally like the Kyogre matchup is one of the, not the more important matchups to think about um, going into this format. But I've been proved su super wrong because it's still, it's still the most used um, and I probably should have put more thought into this actual composition than I did thinking that mm, maybe players aren't using it as much maybe we won't see it so much because we haven't seen it as much on the channel recently so I think it's probably not been something at the forefront of my my head so we're gonna see the electric train activated from the Tapu Koko um, we get the fairy aura so it does add speed at Curum um, and the turbo blaze coming after that so uh, we can go electro web um, 100% I think it's not a bad play at all slows everything down um, it's whether or not we protect Curum here or not because if the the, the Geomancy comes out which I would expect it to we could still do a good chunk of damage with the Z move it's just whether yeah and then we can protect the next turn and we should be able hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's electro web Z move. There's a water spout. It's whether or not the uh, the Xerneas goes for the double here. So we get the electro web, which is always useful because it means we'll have to be at least that Kyogre the next turn. It's water spout isn't going to be doing as much damage, and it's whether we see a Geomancy here or not. I would imagine we do. There's the Geomancy, but it's just all about getting damage onto our opponent right now. Maybe we would be a bit better going into the Kyogre because that, that would alleviate a little more room for Sogalea to operate and pressure that Xerneas when it actually hits the field rather than the, the route that we've done. But at the same time, it's hard to ignore Xerneas. And at least we got the Z move off as well. Hmm. Yeah, we need better. We need better means to deal with this sort of thing and this is where Whimsical kind of comes in and does not a bad job against Xerneas Kyogre especially Scarf Kyogre because you've got the grass not there I mean even Booster that doesn't do too bad doesn't do too bad at all Coco's going to get taken down whatever we do here um, and we can go for an Electro Web and just protect Curum but I think we'll see a Dazzle. Yeah, Kyogre gonna switch out, preserve itself for later in the game. Okay. I mean, if we can get another Electro Web off here, it does help us out massively, but yeah, just a Dazzle. It doesn't really take too much. Right, I think we bring Sogaleo in now, and we start pressuring his Xerneas. Yes. 
then we'll bring in Lele to avoid any fake out here and this might be enough to catch my opponent off where he kind of leaves himself open a little bit we've got to hope for a dazzling gleam here though not a moon blast into that Lele slot because we need Lele to deal with that scarf Kyogre fake out dazzle moon blast <sighs> yeah I mean that's the like the one thing we didn't want to happen Because the Kyogre coming in now probably won't lock into Water Spout. Hmm. We'll bring in Kiro. I mean, the match isn't over just yet, but it feels like it's going to be very difficult to kind of come back from. Like Wide Guard would be good on Sogaleo as well. Be a nice option. Uh, okay, Tornado is coming in. Now with Hurricane, it does become a bit obnoxious. Hmm. And that knockoff from the Incineroar. But I mean, hmm. And now we've got to deal with. We've got to deal with the Tornadoes for sure. We could go for potentially. A blind blizzard, huh. but I feel like the the hurricane will take will take Kyurem down. So I'm gonna just sunsteel strike into that slot. I don't think we see. Did we see a tailwind? No, we see just Zen's and horse with straight back out. Okay, yoga. I don't know if I massively agree with. It is a Z move. It's going to be the fly in him. Be to cure him. Hmm. If we just super powered into that Kyogre slot. Hmm. It's easy saying that though, isn't it? It is really easy to say. Um, that that would have been the play to do, but I mean the next turn as well. We're still, if if we can't take down this tornado here, which I don't think we'll be able to. Oh, we do. Okay, that changes things. That critical hit changes a lot of things right now. Because if we can take a combination of attacks from the Kyogre. And the Incineroar. Like, I think we Earth Power, because I think the Kyogre has to lock into like either Origin Pulse or Scald here. So we knock off the Kyogre. And we Earth Power the Incineroar. If the Incineroar doubles into the Sogaleo and we can get through this turn, and I imagine that's oh, an Origin Pulse. We need that to miss. We need that to miss. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's done. Now it is done. And yeah, this would be enough to take us down. So, good game to my opponent. I think it just really, today's episode, it's a little disheartening not to win games. But it, like I was saying yesterday, you can't let it dishearten you too much. I think it's the fact that the team just struggles a lot against these particular Pokemon. And I did say just before that we're not going to change things up too much. But I am going to change things for tomorrow. I'm going to come back tomorrow with a few variations on how better we can approach these matchups so in tomorrow expect some changes there'll be a revamped team in the description um, and we'll come back to that so as well as that i'll because i pre-record episodes if you make suggestions i love hearing them we'll take those into week two um but if you've made suggestions already on how we can deal with this matchup and i don't include them that's why because it's just pre-recorded so i'm kind of playing ahead of time so we'll be back tomorrow with a few variations of this team but like i said at the start of the week it's going to be a team where we're going to be having to make adjustments i think as we go forward and this is a good process of that so we've really highlighted we played it twice today the Kyogre. we played it once yesterday and we've struggled against all variants there so i think we need to include something in the team to help us out with that matchup and uh, we'll be back tomorrow 
as always guys leave a like subscribe to the channel and um we'll see you for the next one so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye